So one thing we haven't yet talked about is how to specify if you just want to do an audio only or a video only edit. Um, by default, everything we've done so far, you've been getting both the audio and the video. So I've gone back to a more simplified version of this project here where we see he's looking at the cards and we want to insert that cutaway of his POV of the cards, which I have marked up here in the event browser there. I want to get right before the uh, cards get selected, just like that. And let's just play that. And action. All right, so visually it's fine, but audio-wise, you hear we can hear the ad director calling action, and we don't want that to be in our movie. So I want to do an overwrite edit into this sequence here. Let's say right about... Right about there, we want to cut away to the, what he's looking at to cut away to the cards, but we only want to see the picture. We don't want to see the video. So you see next to these three uh, edit buttons here, there's a little pop-up menu. And that pop-up menu lets you choose between editing all, meaning both audio and video, or just video, or just audio. And in this case, we want to do a video-only edit. So I turn that to video-only edit. You see my little buttons turn blue to give me a little indicator that we're in video-only edit mode. And now when I perform the edit, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to use the D key to do an overwrite edit, press D. And what happens is I get a video-only edit. We don't hear the audio. Now that worked pretty well, but in fact, we wanted to hear the old audio. We didn't want to replace the old audio. So I'm going to undo. And instead, this time I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to do a connect edit. So it's going to lay in on the top track, but still with no audio. So now we can hear the underlying audio, right? But we didn't hear that director calling action there just like that. Similarly, you can lay in an audio only edit. Let's say, for example, we want to, we don't like the sound effect of those cards falling. I want to take the sound effect from the close up here. So let's find right where, right about there. I'm going to mark it in and an out for that area. We don't want to use that picture, but we want to use the sound from that. So I'm going to set this to an audio only edit or press option three. And then that's going to set these to be green. And now you see that we're going to get an audio only edit. And we're going to lay that in, right? Let's find just before the cards fall. Let's go a little further back. Right about there. Back it up just a tiny bit. And I've got my uh, the playhead indicating where the edit's going to go. Now, if I did an overwrite edit right now, what, ha what happened is it would replace the contents here with the audio only component. You see, I'll just go ahead and do that so you can see. If I press D, what happens is the audio it gets laid in, but it covers up the video, which is not what we want. So in fact, in this case, what you have to do is, again, another connect edit. I'll do a connect edit. Just the audio is laid in. And now, so you see what happened is now we actually wound up getting both tracks of audio. We have the audio from the original track and the audio that we just laid in on top. So we're actually going to have to go in and manually lower the audio volume for the uh, existing tracks in order to complete this operation. Uh, it's not ideal, but at least you can get what you were trying to accomplish done. Uh, so we did, in those cases, I showed you with the overwrite and the connect edit and how they were both affected by the audio only or video only settings. You can, of course, also do an append or an insert. Just for example, if I select another section here and I go back earlier in time and I'm now on audio only and I do insert, the selected clip is going to be inserted into my primary storyline. Just the audio track will be inserted. I'm going to undo and do the same thing and press append. And you'll see that that same information is applied to the end. And so finally, I'm just going to undo so we don't actually want that. If you want to go back to uh, audio plus video, go back to normal AV editing, you can go back to the pop-up menu and choose all or press option one. And that will reset you to the AV edits so that whenever you do an edit, you get both your audio and your video.